So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this fraction by one, min or 1 plus sine of x over 1 plus sine of x. And we multiply 1 plus sine of x with 1 minus sine of x. In the denominator, we get sine of x times 1 squared, which is just 1, minus sine squared x. In the numerator, we have cosine squared, times 1 plus sine of x, all minus 1. Well, what happens then is we should see, because sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, then sine squared minus 1, or that, there we go, cosine squared equals sine squared, 1 minus sine squared. So I can take out the 1 minus sine squared and plug in cosine squared, giving me cosine squared x, 1 plus sine of x, all over sine of x times cosine squared x, minus 1. My cosine squareds cancel leaving me with 1 plus sine of x over sine of x minus 1. I can then break apart this fraction into 1 over sine of x plus sine of x over sine of x minus 1. Sine of x is cancel. I get 1 over sine of x plus 1 minus 1. 1's cancel. And 1 over sine of x is the same as cosecant x. I go up, and that is, in fact, what I was trying to get. Okay. So lots of things going on. What you should really recognize is that our trig identity, our Pythagorean identities, are very important and very commonly used. So those are huge. Also, our reciprocal identities are very common. Yeah. And also rewriting things in terms of sine and cosine.